My mind's turned in circles You don't know where to go You don't know who to phone You've taken plenty of action Your chance about to pack in You don't know where to begin You send yourself to the doctor She sent you on to your shrink She'll check how you think When you go out on Friday It turns into Sunday Before you know it You're going home and it's Monday You never over those You went for one or two And it turns to a feud And you look at your phone And you know you're shot by you Your mates come a toast You end up session with randoms You'll never see again They're all fake friends You're drinking away with gadgets They're just at the jail Remind no bell My mind's mixed with emotions Numb, girl, and scared I wish she cared When you go out on Friday It turns into Sunday Before you know it You're going home and it's Monday You never overdose You went for one or two And it turns to a few at your phone and you know you're shot by you Your mates call my toast you give yourself a scare You'll find out who cares Oh, and you send yourself back out And you're sitting there alone And who's gonna pack you up and take your back to the top And put the pieces by the girl And stop you having a proper man When you go out on Friday It turns into Sunday For you know it's your going home And it's Monday You never overdose You went for one or two And it turns to a few at your phone and you know you're shot by you Your mates call my toast 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 I think it was just a probably a moment of realization at the start of the start of the first lockdown. Um, as you said beforehand, I was I was doing the open mics in the pubs, and I think it was just just looking at life where I am and thinking, you know what, you've got all this spare time in your hand now. In terms of you know the first lockdown when you didn't, there was nothing else you can do. There was no football on the TV, or you know you couldn't go out and socialize. So I just went, you know what, let's go for it. There was a lot of material that had, or melodies, etc., and guitar riffs that I'd written from, what, I don't know, five, ten years previous. So, you know, I just put it all together and, and went for it because I think you just, for me anyway, you don't want to get to, you know, 10, 15 years, 20 years down the line and just regret not, not trying. So that's, uh, that's, that's really why I, why I went for it. And obviously music's my sort of, my passion and my, my go-to, my, my happy place. So um, uh, it does give me a, a positive buzz and obviously I'm just kind of, inspired to, to to go into music from that and also to, to kind of give the same effect to, to people to other people as well.
Yeah, Bonnie Toon. So that was a that was an interesting one. I it was one of the one of the back catalogue written written in the bedroom um, and lockdown. And you know it was written based on you know many many drivers from the song. It's a so um, I would say a bad based on homesickness and heartbreak. I wrote it reflecting back on a time when I'd when I'd moved to Aberdeen um, of all places um, for the first time, and I was relatively young. And although it was only two hours down the road, um, I got a bit got a bit homesick. So um, yeah, those are the the two main drivers: homesickness and heartbreak. Very universal, and and I believe it can sort of connect and and engage people. Um, the other big driver behind Bonnie Town was. Just, you know, I've always had like a, a dream and a passion to write one of those, you know, Scottish legendary songs, you know, the songs that we, we always play at the weddings, the, the birthday parties, the, the rugby, the the football, um, or, you know, Hogmanay, Princess Street, Jules Holland, that sort of sort of vibe. So, yeah, I've always had a, a dream to write one of those songs, one of those songs that, you know, we always listen to, regardless where you are in the world. Um, so, yeah, that's where, where Bonnie Town came from, and I think, you know, looking at how well it's done so far, it's been, you know, much appreciated the support. It's you know been on you know major major radio stations and a lot of people getting behind it, which is great. And that's sort of my message to people. I believe it's a song that people can connect with, but a song that really makes you makes you proud of of where you're from. And for me, obviously, the Bonnie Tune is uh, my hometown, but we've all got different hometowns and special places. So you know, regardless of where you are in the world, you can have your own wee uh, wee special Bonnie Town. So yeah, hopefully, uh you know, people continue to get behind it, it spreads and uh, yeah, it's uh, a song that means a lot to me and I think it can mean a lot to, to a lot of other people as well. I don't have to share my soul It's already a me I don't need to share my soul It's already a me I wanna be a To share my soul is already a me. I don't need to share my soul is already a me. I wanna be a
that was a big surprise on this on the sesh. So yeah, the sesh was um my debut single. So again, that was that was written back looking just looking back on life experience of myself, my friends, and uh on my family, and and that's really what I, I aim to do. I, I like to to write songs um and narratives that people can reflect on and also connect with and and, and relate to. Um, so yeah, no, the sesh was one of those songs and obviously when we put the riffs and the melody together it just I just think it clicked it was one of those sort of moments when you're like oh that's a that's a great song and then you seen it come out people were were uh, you know getting the, the tune and the melody caught in their head they were connecting with it um, and yeah it done as you said really well um, I woke up in the morning after it came out it was um, number one in the UK iTunes alternative chart which was great and uh, yeah the m momentum just built throughout the week um, and then yeah I woke up on I think it was on the Saturday once the, the official start at Scottish chart came into play and uh, yeah it was a nice surprise waking up and seeing that in the top 10 um, besides you know a lot of, a lot of big names so no as, as I said uh, it's the song one of the well it was the song obviously Bonnie Tunes out now but um, you know the sesh is the song that a lot of people love and it always seems to come back and, and reverberate so I think there's a lot of potential in this song and I'm also excited in terms of what else I can do with this, the, the sesh uh, moving forward. Next 12 months, again, keep keep building the, the momentum. So, um, you know, I've got a lot of other material recorded, other material written, waiting to be recorded. So um, it's just a case of continue to you release release singles. Um, I think I'm at the point of time where I want to start planning for something bigger, perhaps a an EP or an album. So um, that would be great to achieve one of those in the next uh, twelve months. And yeah, kind of getting out in the road as well to play. So yeah, just any support slots and and festivals. Um, I'm lucky enough to be included. There's the the breakout festival on on Kirkcaldy Prom. Um, so that's kind of like a hometown festival. So I'm fortunate enough to be playing there in October. So that's great, and I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, I'm just. Just getting out there, playing, spreading the word, building the momentum, and and building towards my own sort of sort of headline show. But just for me, the same thing all the time is just work hard, be happy, and and make memories for life. And you know, whatever else happens on top of that's a bonus for me. So. A, a whole area across the world. So if we keep it local to Scotland, I would say. Um, First, first of all, recently I'll go Jerry, Jerry Cinnamon. Um, I love his music. I love his lyrics. I love his his narratives and, and what he can you know produce on a stage with himself and and his you know his pedal and his guitar is incredible. So that was a big inspiration for me because obviously I love when people write music you can relate and connect with and you, you can see that in my my songs as well. Um, Dundee wise, the View, big massive fan of the View growing up and coming through high school and stuff as well. So I've always loved. Love the views music, um, and obviously got always watch sort of Kyle Faulkner's career and that moving forward as well. Um, yeah, what else? Pilonatini, you'll see a bit of Scottish Italianness in me. So uh, yeah, I, I used to love you know Pilonatini's music, and I'm still a big big fan to this day. And recently, I love you know a bit of bit of the, bit of the snuts, you know, in terms of um, you know what they achieved in the last you know couple of months getting that number one album I think they've inspired a lot of people in the in the Scottish music scene um so yeah that's sort of I would say a flavor of the bands that have inspired me moving forward but I can list many from from across the world so there's a nice collection Waited, waited for you, 
But you never seem to come back home Back home When I see your face I must love place Good I'm counting the days Till I'm coming back home To you To take me back home to the barn agent I remember the day when you left forever I remember the day you disappeared forever and I waited, waited for you But you never seemed to call my phone My phone When I see your face I must love place Good, I'm counting the days Till I'm coming back home To you to take me back home to the barn agent Do you sit there and think what could happen If you just came back home Do you sit there and think what could happen if you just came back home Back home When I see your face I must love place Girl, I'm counting the days Till I'm coming back home To you Should take me back home to the barn agent When I see your face I must love place Good, I'm counting the days Till I'm coming back home To you She take me back home to the barn agent To take me back home to the barn agent